Welcome back everyone, Drew here. Beer for breakfast, facts for snacks. And after doing those other two from Third Moon, you're like, and then you went to this one? Well, yeah, I wanna drink some beers up that I've had for a few months. Is that okay with you? Just asking a friend. I know I just always can't be doing these amazing beers, but who knows, this, on, on tap, this is looks pretty good. Um, it's Hop City. Hop City, baby. Uh, I love the Barking Squirrel. I'm a huge fan of Barking Squirrel. I'm not doing bar Barking Squirrel because I totally forgot to buy Barking Squirrel. But I'm doing Boxcar Bach. 6.7% alcohol. Uh, 24 IBU. Uh, boxcar carrying 100% Canadian malt. Gives us ionic, iconic strong lager. The kick of the goat. Try something different, everyone. And uh, I've just picked this up. Uh, it was at the liquor store. It was for three twenty, but now it's a save twenty cents. God damn it! Okay, a local, seasonally produced German-style Bach. It shows a rubbish malt character with a creamy and smooth mouthfeel, followed by flavors of dried fruit, caramel, and nut. The finish shows a hint of sweetness, with notes of toffee and caramel, on the Balanced hoppy finish, paired with slow roasted meat and root vegetable dishes. So, and if you go to Untapped, guys, and uh, you go on tapped here, it has the same description that's on the back of the can. That's cool. But 6.7%, uh, 3.56 out of 5 with 679 ratings. So I'm guessing some people gave it a 3, some people gave it a 4. I'm going to give it what I'm going to give it, right? I'm going to get into this. I think this is a little darker in color. What's SMR here? It doesn't tell me. Okay. And Hop City was established in 2009. So, let me get to something here and then I'm going to pour this. You're thinking, well, then it's not craft beer if Moosehead owns Hop City. Well, Moosehead owns a couple of little breweries around. Okay, I believe Moosehead is craft. Some people will argue with me that it's not craft. I'm not even going to get there. That's fine. You can believe what you want. I'm not going to believe what I want. Okay, but just say Moosehead is not craft. Okay? But they, they're they just like Mosin now. They own uh, Cremor and uh, Mill Street. Mill Street and Cremor are still sending out craft beers. But because they're owned by the bigger people, it's technically not craft anymore. But they taste like craft because they're still smaller and that's what they do. This would be a craft beer to me. Even if you don't think so because the bigger guys own it, that's fine. But this still will taste like a craft beer to me and I still buy stuff like this. So uh, to me, Moosehead is technically craft. To others it's not. It's hard to say. I don't want to argue about it anymore. I just... But this is a craft brewery that Moosehead owns. Just like Mill Street and Creamore. You know? Just saying that, okay? Now, for the pour. She is a little bit darker. Uh, probably a lot of malt in this, I want to say. Nice head. It's in my Flying Monkey's Glass. Flying Monkey's Glass. Um, we're going to go for the sniff. I do really like the head. It's not the snap, crackle, pop like... Uh, most in Canadian or or them that, that this is all right multi characters a little bit of coffee in there uh, yeah more coffee more like caramel uh, toffee smells great actually you know just to, to be honest it smells really good um, uh, yeah, okay, let's get into the taste. I want to taste this. I want to see what I could give you guys because you know what? Try something different for three dollars guys Try uh try Hop City Brew, uh, you know and, uh, Give it a shot like uh, like I said Barking Squirrel is a, a solid eight for me I, I guaranteed it's solid. Eight. It might be more. I haven't had a Barking Squirrel in three months And then I should have posted it already, but I never but anyway, so let's go for the taste All right, a little flat um, tasting to me. You're like, 
maybe it has gotten old because there's not much upside down snowfall. But you don't taste the six seven. Get toffee notes, coffee, uh, very malty. Maybe it's not supposed to be carbonated very much, but uh, is it drinkable? It's very drinkable. It's a, it's delightful actually. Is it is it uh, my favorite beer out there? No, but I just wanted to try something different, and I bought this because you know what I love Hop City. Um, and it, it, to be honest, I'm going to give this a fair rating. Uh, you know, I, I, I'm not going to hate on like I hated on uh, the one Collective Arts beer. I hated on the one Flying Monkeys beer I got, which was bland. Uh, the World Far Away or whatever it's called. Um, but this one right here. It's nice. It's nice. It's it's not uh, it, it, nice toffee, malty. If you like your malts, this is a beer for you. I rather more hops than malts, but uh, it's very drinkable. If I went to a pub and they had this, I I would be all over it because uh, this on draft would be amazing. But the 24 I've used, there's some hops in here. You do get a little bit. Uh, but it, but it's more sweeter with the with the malt. So I want to say with this, that it, you know, it's fair and it's drinkable. It's drinkable. Would I buy a skin? Absolutely, I would buy a skin. I wouldn't go out of my way to buy this, like uh, you know, you know, like uh, you know, just say a Collective Arts IPA number fifteen. If I could go, if I have to go to Hamilton to go get that because th that's the only choice now, then I would. But I wouldn't go to Hamilton for this Hop City beer. I'm just saying. I'm gonna give this a six nine, six nine. It's it's doable. It's drinkable. It's it's uh there's it's lacking something on it, but it, but it's tasty. Now that's my palate. Your palate might be different. You might love this beer. You might give it an eight three. That's cool. That's cool. And if I went to your house, I'd drink this all day. If this is all you have, because it's drinkable. It's very nice, soft, uh, a little bit malty for me. But it is what it is. I had to try something different. Six nine guys. Uh, and try something different. I can't express it. I tried something different. I gave it 6.9. No big deal. It's drinkable and I would buy it again if I saw it in the store somewhere. At liquor store and uh, you know just put that in the back of your fridge. Just like I did two months ago. But it is what it is. Like, comment and subscribe. I'll be back later on. Uh, I found a, I found something at the beer store today. That came from Vancouver. I want to give that a shot. Next. Even though I'm going back to a new beer now, I just want to give that a shot. Maybe I'll do that one tomorrow or Monday. But I, I want to do that Vancouver beer. That looks very cool. And I think that's craft beer out there. Um, yeah, I'll be back later. Probably two more tonight or today. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe, guys. Get yourself one of these. Give it a shot. Cheers.